The way that I had conversations with millionaires is by Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Romani. Recently on my channel, I've been talking a lot about changing my life and just helping people change their life through the things that I've been doing. And one habit in particular that has helped me like quantum leap tremendously, just not even just right now, but just throughout my life has been talking to millionaires. Talking to millionaires, listening to millionaires and getting their advice has literally shifted so many things in my life now i didn't talk to these millionaires one-on-one -on -one. i maybe didn't even talk to them in person nonetheless i still got the gems and i changed my life from talking to these millionaires the way that i had conversations with millionaires is by reading books now i know you're probably like i'm gonna click off this video i thought she was gonna tell me how to get on the phone with gary v no but <laughs> I'm going to teach you how to gain information and gain the knowledge from Gary V or any other millionaire that you probably can think of. Nine times out of 10, you are probably not going to meet 50 Cent in the next and you probably won't meet 50 cent at all in your life if we're just like being honest the average person is probably not going to meet 50 cent however you can still gain knowledge from 50 cent by reading his book i'm mentioning 50 cent because if you know me you know i love 50 cents book i have never met him in my life but he has been so pivotal in my business career because i read his book and i was able to get the knowledge that he had in his head i didn't have a conversation with him personally but i had a conversation via the book i was able to learn about his childhood his adulthood his business mistakes the things that he did well and i was able to implement that in my everyday life and so that is what i want you to start doing i want you to start reading i know some people aren't too fond of reading just because the school system has truly made us dislike anything that has to do with the knowledge and that's another video for another day but i personally have always liked reading because i enjoy stepping into a world that I didn't even know existed. On a day-to-day, -day, all we can see is what we can see. We only know what we know. You may have stayed in your city your entire life, but that book can take you to worlds and cities just outside of where you're from. Personally, I'm from Detroit, Michigan. Now, I did move to Nashville. I moved to LA. And so, like, I have been able to step outside of my box, but I truly attribute that to reading because I knew that there was more more out there. It's not a bad thing to stay in your city, but if you stay where you're from and the only friends that you have are the people who have also stayed where they're from, your scope is limited. It is hard for you to think outside the box and it's hard for you to envision a life that doesn't look like the life that you're living so you might be okay with living in certain standards or maybe living in poverty because you don't think that there's a world out there in which you don't live in poverty but when you read a book and you can see how somebody who came from the same exact circumstance Mm, the same exact circumstances as you they become you know millionaires and billionaires you start to believe that it's possible for you and this changes your life tremendously reading books can be just so beneficial and i i know that sometimes it seems undesirable but i really want you to see it how i see it i feel like i had a different mindset growing up just because i i did have opportunities given to me well not given to me but i was placed in certain situations where i could get those opportunities if you're a person who wasn't in certain like extracurricular activities and stuff growing up and let's say your mindset is I have to be a rapper or I have to be a basketball player in order to move out of my city or move out of my hometown. A book is going to show you otherwise. A book is going to show you different careers because it's going to show you people on different pathways. You're going to find different like different people that you never even knew existed especially when you like think about black people black people that you never even knew existed like you didn't even think that that was possible for you but when you start reading their books you're going to be like oh if this person became a trillionaire i can also become a trillionaire and even if you don't want that for yourself if this person was able to move you know out of the country i'm able to move out of the country you start to believe that things are possible when you start to expand your mind because reading truly does expand 
expand your mind, which is why during slavery and everything's always going to go back to slavery with me, because during slavery, you know, black people weren't allowed to read books because slave masters truly understood that books are the key to changing everything because you start to expand your mind. You start to want more. You start to desire more and you start to have the steps to actually get that. So slaves were not allowed to read, but you are are not a slave in the physical sense but most of y'all are mental slaves because y'all y'all refuse to pick up a book i'm not blaming you i'm blaming the system for for kind of like making you feel like reading is boring but um you're not a slave there are no shackles stop allowing there to be like mental shackles on you and pick up a book and if you have no idea what you like to read i want you to sit down and think what do I like? Period. What do I like? Do you like fashion? Do you like basketball? Do you like golf? And then I want you to look up books about such and such. And that's how you're going to find a book. And I also have a book highlight on my Instagram. And I've been uploading these books to my Instagram since like 2018. And now people look forward to when I post like, um, here are the books that I read in January. Here are the books that I read in February. Because I read like five books in January. I read like two books in February, three books in March. So like I'm always reading and a question that I get from people is like, how do you read so much? If you get off social media, you can read. Most times we feel like we don't have any time, but it's just because you're scrolling on TikTok and Instagram all day. If you put the phone down and you read a little bit of a book and you start to really dive into it, you're going to be able to finish a book. And when you start reading, I really want you to implement the knowledge. The knowledge without the execution is just thoughts you have to actually implement what the people are saying in the books so that you could change your life i'm not going to talk your ear off about it i've you know i've said my piece i really want you to start reading because that is the way that you are going to have that conversation with that millionaire that is going to change your life and who knows once you start reading their book you might change your life so much to where you start being in that millionaire's inner circle you never know where your life is going to take you so do not count yourself out but one thing i do want you to do is to to pick up a book and to start reading thank you so much for watching this video i pray i hope and pray that this video truly helped you and that it changed your mindset in some ways and that you're going to start doing some things differently let me know in the comments what you're going to start doing differently when it comes to reading are you going to start reading are you going to listen to audiobooks like what are you going to do how are you going to get the knowledge let me know in the comments but i will see you in my next video and again i truly thank you for watching make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel